you're about to learn how to create some viral video hooks with Nano Banana Video 3, just like this. <laughs> Are you ready to learn? So to create this viral hook, we're going to be using Nano Banana, VO3, and adding sound effects with 11 Labs to really, really sell the effect. And now the very first thing you need is your video, and what you want to do is you want to export the last frame as an image, because this is the one that we're going to be editing with Nano Banana. So I just click on Export Frame and click OK. And now that has been exported to my downloads, and here we head to Nano Banana. I'm gonna be using Nano Banana within Gemini, and I'm gonna go ahead and click Upload, and then I'm just going to upload the frame that we've literally just exported from Premiere Pro. And here, all I want to do is simply describe the character that I want to turn into. So this might be a superhero, it could be a robot, it could be an alien. You can kind of think of anything here. And so for this one, I'm going to turn myself into a bright pink alien and I'm going to give myself two antennas. And I simply send this image and now Gemini is going to edit that with Nano Banana. And so as you can see, I am now a bright pink alien. However, I think this doesn't look realistic enough, so I'm just going to reprompt it a few times. And so now the image I'm going to go with is this alien right here and I'm going to go ahead and download it full size. And once I have my new character, we're going to head to VO3. And so in VO3, we want to make sure we go and click this menu and select frames to video. And now we want to upload the image that we've just created with Nano Banana in Gemini. So I click here, I click upload, and I select the image that we've just generated. Now I click crop and save. And here I simply want to input my prompt. And for this prompt, I've got the alien puts his hands in the air and says, all right, you got me, I'm an alien. And at the end of my prompt, I've added no music and no sound effects because I want to add those afterwards with 11 apps to really sell the effect. We simply click send and VO3 is generating our video. And so let's take a look. Mm. All right, you got me. I'm an alien. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and download it. And I just want to make sure I select the upscaled version. And then once that's done, I can go ahead and click download. Now what I'm going to do is actually bring this into Premiere Pro. And so now I have the original footage and then I have the video that I want to transform into. So how do we create this middle section right here? Well, we've already got our end frame from the original source, but now we need to create a start frame. And so we're going to do the same thing. Place the playhead at the beginning of the clip we've just generated with VO3. And then we click on export frame and click OK. And now we can go into any AI tool that allows us to generate videos with a start and end frame. And in some countries, you can do this with VO3, but in the UK, I'm going to be using Midjourney to achieve this effect. And so in Midjourney, we just want to make sure that we click add images. And here you can see, I've already uploaded both of my images, but you just click on upload a file and upload the end frame to your beginning footage and then the start frame to the VO3 footage that we've just generated. And for the start frame, we're going to use the original frame. And then for the end frame, we're going to use the VO3 frame. And so I select both of these. And now for the prompt, I've put his skin turns blue and then he turns into an alien. No talking because I don't necessarily want him talking during the transition. And for the motion, I've selected high here just because I think when there's a little bit of extra motion within the transition, it sells the effect a little bit more. And on the settings, I just made sure I've selected HD for the output resolution so I don't have to upscale it afterwards. And then I simply click send. They've just finished generating within mid journey. And if we take a look here, we can see that this one's the smoothest. They're not as smooth as I'd hoped, but we we go ahead and we click on download for social and then once the video is downloaded i can then bring it in to premiere pro and as we can see it's now the middle video of the transition between the two clips but when i play it back it's quite slow and it doesn't look that good so what we're going to do is we're actually just going to press r on the keyboard in premiere pro and we're going to speed this up and we're going to reduce it from like five seconds to maybe one second and then we bring this video forward and so now if we play it back it's a lot smoother. All right, you got me. But it feels a bit empty. And so what we need to do to really sell the effect is add some sound effects. And so to do this, I'm gonna to go to 11 Labs Sound Effects Generator, and I'm simply gonna describe the sounds that I want to hear. I can be as creative as I want. And so I want to basically describe the sound effects that I imagine hearing during this transition. So first of all, I'm just gonna type warp, then I'm gonna type speed ramp, and I'm basically gonna type in a bunch of different sound effects that I can imagine hearing during that transition, and I'm gonna combine them all together. And so as you can see here, I've just generated a bunch of sound effects, and I'm gonna go ahead and preview some of them and then I'm gonna download them and add them to my transition. So I think this one's quite good. And so let's just click download. I'm gonna download them as a WAV file. So it's at 48 kilohertz. And then I'm gonna to listen to a bunch of others and then we'll go back to Premiere Pro. And so now in Premiere Pro, I've stacked three sound effects that I've just downloaded from 11 Labs. And let's preview it now, realistically with 11 Labs Voice Changer. 
all right, you got me. I'm an alien. As you can see, I think that sounds a lot better. And now the final effect I'm going to do is actually swap the voice for a different one that I think sounds a little bit more like an alien. And to do that, I'm simply going to export the audio from Premiere Pro, and then I'm going to go back into Eleven Labs and I'm going to select the voice changer. And here, I'm going to upload the audio that we've just exported from Premiere Pro. And now what I want to do is select a voice from the voice library. And so I'm going to type in alien and we're going to preview a couple. I love chocolate. We rule what? The drums of war. I love chocolate. So I think this alien voice is good right here. But what we can do is actually go and click on the voices library and we can go and create our own alien voice using voice design. And now here I'm going to describe the alien that I want to hear. So let's do blue alien quirky voice, right? And then we simply click generate. And now we're actually creating a unique voice for our character. And now we've got three voices that have been generated. So I can go ahead and preview them. Greetings, Earthlings. Greetings, Earthling. And then choose the one that I prefer most. And so I'm going to select this middle one right here, click select voice. And then I'm just going to call it blue alien. And then I just need to make sure that I label it as English, so I select English and then we click save voice. And so now we can go back to voice changer and this time we're going to search for the voice that we've just made. So I've typed out blue and we find the voice blue alien and now I click generate speech. Mm. All right, you got me. I'm an alien. And that has changed our voice a little bit and we can now download this and bring this back into Premiere Pro and line it up perfectly with the original voice and then disable the original. And so now the end result of our viral hook looks just like this. To any other instantly and realistically with the Lemon Labs voice changer. Mm. All right, you got me. I'm an alien. And so that is how to use Nano Banana and VO3 while using Eleven Labs and Midjourney along the way to really create a nice viral hook. If you have any questions about how to use any of these tools, please drop them in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more AI content tutorials just like this one, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.